Hi, I'm Ken Hecht, the President of Phase Technology. I'll tell you a little bit about our CI series of products. We take kind of a unique approach in our CI series of products in a couple different ways. Uh, the first one, when you're looking at the front of the, um, the speaker, you'll notice that the tweeter is off axis from the center of the speaker. If you look at most uh, other CI products, they mount their tweeters right over the center of the woofer. That's not a good thing because mid-range frequencies from the woofers are reproduced from the center of the cone. And if the tweeter is mounted right in front of the cone, they're going to bounce off the back of the tweeter. So all you're going to hear is the reflected sound and not the direct sound from the speaker itself. The other problem with having a tweeter mounted right in the center is all the sound that diffracts off the edge of the surface hits the cone and comes back out and mixes with the front surface of the, or the sounds coming from the front surface of the tweeter. And the sounds that are back here are not in phase with the sounds that are coming up here. And so they tend to make the sound of the tweeter sound muddier and not nearly as good. By moving it off axis, we get what we call asymmetrical diffraction, where the diffractive surface is not the same on both sides. And by doing that, you minimize the amount of sound that comes back and mixes with the tweeter in the front. You might also notice that uh, the separate flange grill approach. One size flange fits many size speakers. So if you're wiring up a house and you decide uh, that you want to wire up extra rooms, you can put these in, cover them with the grill so they look like a finished product, but you don't have to spend the money right away on buying the speakers for all those rooms. And then when the, you do decide to buy the speakers, it's very easy for your installer to come in, just to pop the grill, put the speaker in, twist it, and it's locked in. You don't have to worry about repainting the speaker, repainting the room, because if you had a flange and you removed it, after it's been painted, you're going to break the paint seal right here and you'll have to repaint. By leaving this in and just popping the, the speaker baffle in, you don't break that seal and you don't have to repaint. It makes it a very easy job for the future. Uh, the other advantage is, let's say you are doing the house and you decide to put our best speakers, our 7.3, in all your ceilings. And then the job, your uh, house gets completed and you find you just don't have the funds to put in the best speakers, you don't have to start over. You, our least expensive and our most expensive all fit the same flanges. And this carries through to our wall mounts too off-axis tweeters, universal flange grill. Our surround speakers have a dipole-bipole arrangement. They're switchable. Uh, actually, it's switchable between mono, stereo, bipole, and dipole. So they can be used as surround speakers or single point source speakers, reproducing the mono signal or the stereo signal. And the same thing for our in-ceiling models. You'll notice that we use different materials, polypropylene, woven glass fiber, and solid pistons. So as you uh, get better and better models in the series, the uh, material has changed. The glass fiber, the woven glass fiber, is an excellent material. It um, gives you really good rigidity, but yet very lightweight and very high internal dampening, so they won't resonate. 